Hello there, students. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Thank you for learning a little bit more math, and I so appreciate all that you all are doing at home to be working hard and getting the math done and how uh, and all of your work done and the work and effort that your parents are putting in. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. I know it's not ideal for any of us, but um, I know you guys are working hard, and I super duper appreciate it. So today and tomorrow, we get to talk a little bit about time. And if you just want to watch that cat tick back and forth a little bit, it's kind of mesmerizing. So specifically for time, you can we, we're going to talk about minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years. And these are all concepts you should be fairly familiar with. Um, we're just going to go a little bit deeper with how you know how many minutes are an hour, how many hours in a day, how many days in a week, that sort of thing, and be able to convert between one and another. So you all know that there's minutes, and minutes are fairly short amounts of time. It's about 60 seconds, so the time that you can count to 60 in if you're going at a nice smooth pace would be one minute. And then that there are 60 minutes in one hour. There are 24 hours in one day. There are seven days in a week. The weeks and the months doesn't go uh, exact because um, months have 30 and 31 days, and if it's uh, a leap year, February has 28 days. So the weeks don't get into, go into months exact, but it's about four and a few days worth after that. Um, so there's four plus a little bit to go into months, weeks into months. And then there are um, 12 months in one year. Uh, while we're converting, it's just a nice thing to remember that it's always easier to go from a bigger unit to a smaller unit. So for example, let me get my let me get me another text box over here rolling. Whoops, whoa, it all went away. And we're back. Come on, mouse click, 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 there we go. Alright, so like for example, if we have uh, you know four years and we're trying to convert it into months, it's always easier to convert years into months than it is to convert months into years. And the reason why that is, is because where there's 12 months in one year, if we have four years, that's four groups of 12. And so most of us tend to be more more comfortable with multiplication and stronger in multiplication. So to calculate months into year, years into months, it's going to be times 12 times or plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, or four times 12. But to go months into years are is a little bit trickier because we do 48 months. To do that into years, it takes 12 months to go into one year. So that'd be like 48 minus 12, 36 minus 12, 24 minus 12, 12, minus 12, 0, four years. Um, or, you know, you could just divide by 12. But uh, on some of these, just it's always easier, especially on our less than, greater than, equal to, it's always easier to go convert from the bigger unit to the smaller unit because you can just multiply by how many um, of the smaller unit is in the bigger unit, how many months there are in a year. So let's get into that. And by the way, four years would equal 48 months because there's 12 months in one year, so four years would be 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, or four times 12. So here's a chart. You might want to either write these down or keep it handy. Um, one minute, 60 seconds. I didn't cover seconds on the last slide. An hour, 60 minutes. One day is 24 hours. One week is seven days. One year is 12 months. And then one year is also 52 weeks. Uh, so if we're converting hours into minutes, I know that... Um, one hour equals 60 minutes. So then that means two hours would be 60, two hours would be 60 minutes plus 60 minutes. Or you could do 60 times two, uh, which is probably what I would do. And that equals 120. So if I'm trying to figure out how many two hours are, or how many minutes are in two hours, um, then it's 120 minutes because I added 60 plus 60 or I did 60 times two because there's 60 minutes in one hour. So if I have two groups of 60 minutes to get to two hours, then that would be 120 minutes. 
This next one, four minutes into seconds. So one minute, it says so over here, one minute equals 60 seconds. So I have four minutes, which is four groups of 60. So that would be the same as 60 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60, which is um, 4 times 60. We know that 4 times 6 is 24. I can add that 0 back on, and then that is 240 seconds. Um, so 4 minutes is the same thing as 240 seconds. This last one, 3 years into weeks, uh, this one's a little bit harder for students to remember. Most students are familiar with seconds and minutes, but there's 52 weeks in a year. And the best way, just going to have to memorize that, that, there's 52 weeks in a year. So if one week equals, equals uh, sorry, not one week, if one year equals 52 weeks, then that would mean three years would be 52 weeks for the first year, plus 52 weeks for the second year, plus 52 weeks for the third year, and if we remember, if we're adding groups together, doing repeated addition, that's the same thing as multiplication, which would be 52 times 3. And so uh, if you multiplied that out, let's see, that's 104. What is that? 156, 156 weeks. So to do that, I just doubled 52 and then added 52 in my head. And I super duper hope that's right. I think it is. 156 weeks. Um, so that's how you convert back and forth. Now, today it's just going to have you convert from bigger units to smaller units, so we're multiplying. Um, but in future grades, you'll have to go the other way and divide. So if I was going from seconds to minutes, I would divide by 60 instead of multiply by 60. If I was going seconds to minutes, I'd divide by 60. If I'm going minutes to hour or weeks to years, I'd divide by 52 instead of multiply by 52. So let's compare a few of these, uh, less than, greater than, or equal to. So you have a choice. We're doing saying three years is less than, greater than, or equal to 35 months. I'm always going to pick the bigger unit and convert it into the smaller unit. It's so much easier to manage. So which one's bigger, years or months? Years is bigger. So I'm going to convert years into months so I can compare these so that when they're in the same unit. The biggest thing with comparing less than, greater than, or equal to is you want to make sure both of the sides of the equation are the same unit. So I know that one year equals 12 months. So that means two years would be 24 months, and three years would be 36. And 12, you know, plus 12, plus 12. This should be getting familiar. We've been doing this for a lot of lessons. Um, the 12 plus 12, the repeated addition to get there, you know, or of course the multiplying. So 12 times 3 equals 36. So my new equation would be, you know, 36 year, or sorry, yeah, 36 months is less than, greater than, or equal to 35 months. Do you see, I hope you see how much easier it is to compare these units when they're, or to make, do the comparison when they're in the same units. Because if I'm comparing month to month, I just have to see, oh, is 36 less than, greater than, or equal to 35? Then it's easy peasy. So 36 is, in fact, greater than 35. So three years is greater than 35 months. This next one, days into hours, I know that one day, has 24, okay, so well, let me back up, sorry, I get, I get ahead of myself. I'm always going to convert the bigger unit into the smaller unit, because then I can just multiply. So which one's bigger, days or hours? In this case, it's days. So two days into hours, I know that one day is 24 hours. So to find how many hours are in two days, I would add 24 plus 24, or I could do 24 times two. Two days has 48 hours. And I'm trying to compare whether 48 hours is less than, greater than, or equal to 40 hours. And in this case, 48 hours is greater than 40 hours. So that means that two days is greater than 40 hours as well. And then for this last one, six years and weeks. If you remember, one year had how many weeks again? 52 weeks. So that means six weeks would be the same thing as 52 
oops, 52 times 6, because I would do 52 plus 52 plus 52 plus 52 plus 52 plus 52, one group of 52 for six years, one group of 52 weeks for each of the years. Um, but if you multiply 52 times 6, oh, let me hear it figure that out. So 2 times 6 would be 18. 8 in the basement, 1 in the attic, 6 times 5 is 30, plus 1 is 31, would equal 318. Uh, I don't expect you to do that multiplication in your head, um, unless you're really efficient at doing that type of multiplication. You would need to get a pen and paper and then actually multiply it out or do the repeated addition. So 318 weeks. Um, oh, I didn't compare how many weeks it was. That's okay. We can just convert it. So 6 years is equal to 318 weeks. I didn't put the other side of the equation on that one. We can just convert it though. So I hope this video helps you to get a grasp a little bit of how we can convert from one time to another. Uh, the next lesson we do is a little bit trickier where we're having to deal with elapsed time. So, you know, if, if I start walking the dog at 2.05 and I come back at 3.15, how much time was that? And that one takes a little bit more, um, it's a little bit trickier, um, but I hope this lesson goes smooth. If you are having issues with GoMath or it's not working, please email me. And uh, thanks so much for all you're doing to learn math. I appreciate it.